Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. We have often seen a lot of television shows wherein you will have a host and you will have a contestant answering some questions. The format of these shows is kind of fixed. You will have a question and you will have multiple options for that question and you will have to pick one answer out of 4 or 5 depending on the different game show that you are part of. Now what if i tell you that you have machine learning to your rescue if you want to generate questions from a paragraph leave aside just questions but if you want to also generate valid options for the questions then machine learning is essentially there for you so in this video i'll give you a small demonstration of the amazing tool that i discovered called as questgen.ai so without wasting any further time let's kick start the video So this essentially is the home page for questgen.ai. It clearly states that generate quizzes from any text in seconds using artificial intelligence. And yeah, let's try this out. But you might also have a question: Where does this fit into a use case? Uh, will it actually be useful? Well, for universities, for teachers, if they are planning to create an MCQ quiz, then this would come in really handy. so you just have to supply a paragraph and the questions along with the options and the options would be very similar to each other so everything would be generated with a button click so i'm really excited to try out this product so without wasting further time let me log into the portal so i have successfully logged into the portal and this is how the portal looks like the left hand side that you see here is where you have to paste the paragraph and the right hand side is where the questions would be generated by default there is a passage that is already there but let me try it out on a different paragraph altogether so let me search for a page on wikipedia so here i am on sachin tendulkar's wikipedia page for those of you who don't know sachin tendulkar he is a very famous indian cricketer and you can read everything about him on this wikipedia page as well What I intend to do right now is I want to copy the first two paragraphs from this Wikipedia page, paste it into the paragraph section, and see what kind of questions are generated. So let me catch hold of the first two paragraphs, and now let's switch back to our portal. The only care that you will have to take is you will have to enter a paragraph which is having fifty to three fifty words. anything below 50 and anything greater than 350 will throw you an error so that is something that you will have to keep in mind now let me click on generate questions so the process is running and here we have different questions that are generated So the first question is Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar was the only cricketer included in an all time test world 11 named to mark the So if you look closely all the four options relate to some publication house be it online publication or a newspaper so it's able to figure out that the context is essentially something related to news and it's given out options related to that so yeah here is where you can literally see the magic happening Now moving on to the second question how many international centuries has Sachin Tendulkar scored he scored 100 hundreds so that is what is displayed here but the options as well if you look at the beauty of the options it's able to discover that you have 100 200 and 900 so there are different options that are given but if you look at the options closely as well the options are very much related to each other you wouldn't get an option that is completely far off from the different options or the correct option now the third question is at what age did sachin tendulkar take up cricket so the correct answer is 11 but the other options are also something that are very close to 11 so you don't have a number like 133 143 and so on and so forth so yeah i mean you can literally see how good the options are you should 
so you should essentially know the correct answer if you have to pick the right option so that is something that i can see clearly here if you now look at the sixth question the question reads like this what is india's highest civilian award and the options that are generated are bharat ratna padma vibhushan and padma bhushan so the three options here are very similar to each other you have to know the specific answer in order to answer the question so i'm really impressed by looking at the options as well as the questions that are being generated so the next two questions are basically based on finding out the right year pattern you will have a correct answer and there are also other options which are very similar to the correct option so even that essentially is generated really well so this is something that i can clearly see from the outputs that are generated now let's go forward and look at one more demo so i'll go to google's wikipedia page i'll again follow the same process i'll catch hold of the first two paragraphs on google's wikipedia website and i'll quickly paste it in the place where i have to paste a paragraph now i'll click on generate questions the first question again is when did google go public so you have the correct answer which is 2004 the other options are very close by 2004 so if someone does not know the exact answer then he is in a spot of bother the second question is also related to a year the third question is basically a percentage value so you have the other options that are generated again based on percentage the fourth question generates four options all of them are date now the uniqueness and if you look at the options very carefully the correct answer is 3rd of december 2019 but the other options are very close to the correct option so you have one option as january 3rd which is one month later you have december 3rd 2018 which is a year before the current exact value that is december 3rd 2019 and you have january 4 2019 again so you have different dates which are very similar but yeah if you know the answer then you exactly know which option to pick so again the options are not completely off it's very similar in terms of understanding what the question is so yeah there are some other questions that have also been generated so i am truly mesmerized looking at the amount of detail that the solution captures not only is it able to create good valid questions but the option quality is also really great so this is something that i wanted to share with all of you out there ramsri who has created this amazing platform he is open source the entire working of how the entire solution works so if you think you can improve the product and if you can contribute to the product here is the github repository feel free to show your love by starring and forking the repository and also contributing to the repository in whichever format you can i'll attach the link to this amazing platform as well as the github repository in the description section of the video feel free to check it out this is all that i had in today's video hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching the video